guys? It's your girl Bree and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, I'll be bringing my very own Polyjuice Potion and y'all, I am so excited. It's crazy. So I was online one day and I stumbled upon this cute little website called Homemade Hoopla and I found that they had the cutest recipe for Polyjuice Potion. I'll put a little picture of it here to the left of me. And instantly when I saw it, I knew I just had to make it because y'all, it's October, you know what I'm saying? It's spooky season upon us. Like I am so ready to make all types of cool potions and concoctions this month. Like this is the time, this is the season, baby. So for this particular recipe, it does say that you're going to need some lime sherbet. And then on top of that, you are going to need lemon lime soda, which in my instance, I just got Sprite. And then you also need some ginger ale, which I got some Canada Dry. And then you'll also need some green food coloring. Then lastly, it does say that you can use whipped cream, which is optional, but uh, your girl doesn't like whipped cream. I mean, it doesn't give what needs to be given, if that makes sense. But anyway, instead of using whipped cream, your girl picked up a secret low ingredient at her local grocery store, you know what I'm saying? So instead of the whipped cream today, I'll be using dry ice as my secret little ingredient. And I am so excited, y'all, because I have never in my life used dry ice before, and I've always wanted to play around with it, but as y'all know, dry ice can be very dangerous. So your girl is definitely gonna be prepared today. She's got her little tongs. And then on top of that, she's got some gloves. So this dry ice is definitely not gonna get me, okay? So along with my ingredients, I have my trustworthy elder one here to help me out and a cute little potion mug that I picked up at my local store. So anyway, if you guys are ready to watch me brew the Polyjuice Potion then, Keep on watching. So before starting, I did want to take a quick look online to see what the OG ingredients are for this recipe. So to make OG Polyjuice Potion, you need lacewing flies that have to be stewed for 21 days. So I guess that's why it takes about a month to brew this Polyjuice Potion. Then next to that, you need leeches, powdered bicorn horn, knot grass, and fluxweed that has to be picked at a full moon. No crescent moon or anything of that sort, a full moon only. And then lastly, you need shredded boom slang skin and a bit of the person you're trying to become. Typically people use hair, so instead of using some hair, because I'm pretty sure that won't taste good in a potion. I actually bought some gummy eyeballs from my local store. So I'll definitely be adding this into my collagen to finalize the Polyjuice Potion itself. But all right guys, let's dive in. So for today, I have an alternate camera set up here just to give you guys a closer look at my little cauldron here and how I'm brewing up the potion. So for starters, it does say that you're going to scoop some lime sherbet in the glass itself. So I've got my sherbet here. I'm gonna open her up. A little pro tip for the sherbet, you wanna like let it thaw out a bit because it can be pretty hard. I I think though I might have let my sherbet thaw out a little too much, but uh, we gonna keep on going. So it says just to scoop out some lime sherbet and it says in the end, you're also gonna put some at the top, but I'm pretty much gonna put like, I think that's a pretty good size, like a little spoonful here. We're gonna add that into the cauldron whenever it's ready. All right, there we go. Come on, sis, we don't have all day. Okay, next it says to slowly pour the lemon lime soda and ginger ale, which in my case, y'all already know, it's my Canada Dry and my Sprite. So uh, just a little side note, your girl doesn't like soda, so I'm not sure as to how I'm gonna like this potion, but I still am nonetheless, you know, excited to try, but I'm really nervous, cause y'all already know. Yeah, these definitely have a little bit of fizz in it, and that's the primary reason why your girl doesn't drink soda. So I'm gonna pour in the lemon lime soda as well as the ginger ale. I think I'll first start off with the lemon lime soda. So I'm gonna open this up slowly, of course, cause I'm pretty sure there are bubbles waiting to explode. Oh, okay, yep, 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 there we go. Y'all already saw it rose straight to the top. She is so ready to come out, like, sus, simmer down. There we go, simmer down. Thank you. All better? All right, so we are gonna open her up and pour a little bit into the cauldron here. So we're gonna pour some of the lemon lime soda in here. Oh, okay, wow, she is definitely fizzing up. I think I might have poured too much, but it's okay, we're just gonna keep going, you know? Just hope it all goes well. Then next I'm gonna pour some of the Canada Dry. Same procedure though, we're gonna open it up very slowly because she might have some energy pent up in here. Okay, yeah, you don't have to be so loud, ma'am. You really don't. Okay, she wasn't as bad as a Sprite. I don't know why the Sprite has so many bubbles. Maybe this has a lesser version of bubbles. Fingers crossed. But anyway, we're gonna pour a little bit of the ginger ale into the cauldron as well. Wow, she is definitely bubbling up. She's all nice and foamy here and y'all, it looks pretty cool already. 
already, not gonna lie, not gonna lie. But anyway, next it does say to add in the green food coloring. So for today, I've got some McCormick green food coloring that I'm gonna add in real quick. To be honest though, I really don't feel like I need much green food coloring because as y'all can see, it is already pretty green itself with that lime sherbet. But I do want it to be kind of like a, a bit of a richer green color. So I'm just gonna pour some of the dye right up in here. All right, okay. I'm having a little bit too much fun and that's why I keep pouring. Okay, I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna stop. So after you put in a few drops of the food coloring, you're going to then just pretty much like stir it up. Okay. Oh yes, y'all, yes. It is definitely giving a much cooler green color. It looks so green and icky. Like it is so cool. Literally, I am living for this beautiful green hue. I am so happy I kind of overdid it and added a whole bunch of that green food coloring because this color is everything. So, all right, it says I'm pretty much done. You can add a little bit more lime sherbet, which I think I'm gonna do now. Y'all, my lime sherbet is really, really soupy, but uh, we just gonna go with it. We're just gonna go with it. Oh my gosh, it's not even like clumpy. It's just coming out all liquidy. I think I'm gonna add just a little bit more. For some reason, I feel like with this lime sherbet, it'll make it nice and like thick and kind of like a little milkshake kind of consistency, hopefully. All right, I'm just gonna add one more scoop because I really just want it to be so thick and like a milkshake because I feel like only then it'll taste like really, really good. All right, there we go. Yes, okay, no more, no more. I'm not gonna add any more, I promise, I promise. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna stir it up just a little bit more just to give it a little bit more of a thick consistency. Wow, this looks so cool. There's like so many bubbles in here. It's insane, y'all. Okay, so I know I said I wouldn't put more, but your girl has to put more. Okay, so I'm pretty much gonna put this last nice scoop of sherbet at the top and I'm not gonna mix it in at all. I'm just gonna let it sit. I mean, if she decides to come off with a spoon, that would be nice. Come on. Okay, so for the last part, it does say to add some whipped cream on top, but as y'all know, your girl is gonna use a little bit of magic here and add some dry ice. So all right, y'all. Safety first. All right, your girl has her gloves on. She is not playing with this dry ice, y'all. I'm coming for you. I'm coming. Okay, so I'm gonna add in my dry ice, but for some reason, you guys, I'm just really nervous right now. I literally feel like a 13 year old back in science class playing around with all the chemicals and test tubes and the science teacher's just looking at me like, are you done? But all right guys, let's dive in. I'm gonna open up my cooler here. So now when I read online, it says the best way to preserve the dry ice was to place it in a cooler and also wrap it up in a towel, so I did so. So I pretty much looked online for the best ways to preserve this dry ice because basically it says it's going to melt away very quickly, which is very much true because I bought nine whole pounds of dry ice and it was pretty much like twice the size of this block here and your girl isn't left with much. Okay, so the one thing your girl definitely neglected to think out is how am I going to break up this dry ice. I'll get a hammer. I'll be right back, guys. All right, y'all, I'm back. I've got my hammer, and I am so ready to go Hulk smash on this ice, so let's get into it. Honestly, y'all, after smashing this up, your girl definitely feels like Bob the Builder. All right, y'all, so I smashed the dry ice into a bunch of small pieces, and now I'm just going to pick up my trusty tongs and get some dry ice and drop it in the cauldron. But first, I'm like really, really nervous, you guys, because I don't know as to how it's going to react with the sherbet and all the soda and whatnot, and I'm pretty nervous. Like, I just don't want it to spill all over the place. But like, I'm excited at the same time. Like, let's get it, y'all. Okay, so I've got my dry ice, and oh my gosh, y'all. Do y'all see how much this is smoking? Like, literally, in both camera angles you can see that this is emanating a lot of smoke. Like, I'm really excited and even more nervous now to drop it in, but you know what? I'm just gonna do it, I'm just gonna do it. So on the count of three. One, two, three. Oh my gosh, it's bubbling, it's bubbling! Oh my God, I don't know what to do. I don't know if it's gonna overflow. It's filling up the whole cauldron, it's filling up the whole cauldron. Is it gonna overflow? Your girl doesn't know what to do, you guys, but it looks so cool! It is bubbling! Literally, if this isn't the coolest thing you've ever seen, I don't know what is, but it is definitely overflowing. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, okay, okay. All right, all right, and it's exploding green guy. Okay, how about we calm down? This just in, your girl put too much. It is spilling everywhere. Science experiment gone wrong. This is why we have gloves, this is why we have napkins, this is why we have protocols and procedures. I think it's because of all the sherbet I put. Like literally, you guys, it's so cool. Like this is a great thumbnail, but I'm pretty much more concerned about all the mess that it's making. I'm just gonna pour some out, cause it's just a bit much. Okay, I feel like that helped. Okay, so after pouring a bunch out, it definitely simmered down. Y'all, it is literally bubbling. Like, can you hear it? Like, that's crazy. That's insane, y'all. Honestly, I'm really scared to drink this now. I don't think I'm gonna drink it with the dry ice. I feel like I'm gonna make, you know, a different version of it and not put dry ice in it, but it looks so cool. Y'all, oh my gosh, I didn't even put the eyeball 
feeling it. I'm missing a key ingredient here, y'all. I think I kind of just got distracted by all like the bubbles and stuff. I definitely forgot to add my little eyeballs. So these eyeballs are made of, oh, it's made of 100% gummy. It's so soft and it smells really good, y'all. But all right, so I'm just going to plop this into my cauldron pot here. Okay. Aw, it kind of sank right to the bottom. I was really hoping it would like sit at the top. But either way, y'all, it's a key ingredient to making a polyjuice potion, so it had to go in. It had to. I don't make the rules. Okay, so for the fun of it, I just want to try a little eyeball on its own. Mmm, okay. These eyeballs taste pretty good. Mmm, that did not sound right. That did not sound right. Okay, so we're basically going to do like a little take two of this whole polyjuice potion recipe, but I'll put it in this cute little cup and I will definitely be sure to omit the dry ice so that I can actually taste what the drink tastes like this time. Okay, so first I'll add some lime sherbet. Literally, y'all, this sherbet is definitely like a sherbet soup at this point. Next, I'm going to add some Canada Dry. Ooh, okay. She is fizzing a little bit. All right, we see you, Canada. We see you. And then now I'm going to add some spray. All right, so now I'm going to add a little bit of dye and then we're going to stir it up. One two, three. Okay, so we're still getting that nice green consistency here going on. So what I'm gonna do is add a little bit more sherbet at the top. All right, so we'll add a bit more sherbet. Okay, I feel like that's a good amount. And then we're gonna add another eyeball here. So, all right, y'all, and now I have to try it. Oh, I don't wanna try it. Okay, it smells basically like soda. And, oh, I'm just so nervous to try it. Why am I such a little wimp? Okay, I'm gonna count to three. Why do I have to always count to three? I don't know why really, but we're gonna do it again. Cause evidently I need to count to three to do stuff. One, two, three. Bottoms up y'all. Wow, it actually tastes kind of good. Is that weird to say? I don't even taste the soda. That is so, I don't know why, but I am flabbergasted. I am behooved, if you will. And so surprised that like, this actually tastes good. Like as a person who is 100% picky and doesn't like soda at all not even remotely i don't taste any fizz i think what i'm tasting mostly is that lime sherbet yeah honestly this tastes really good so in summation y'all this is a five star review 10 out of 10 would recommend but seriously this tastes really good you guys like i honestly suggest that you guys try it out as opposed to the books and movies it will not take a whole month to brew but rather like five minutes like you can get all these ingredients at your local grocery store and you can make a really nice and pop and drink definitely gonna be making a whole lot more of this in the month of october but all right, you guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you so, so much for watching. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to your girl's YouTube channel. And turn that notifications bell on so you'll be notified of when I upload a brand new video. Also, please be sure to add your girl on Instagram at Brianna underscore Cat Leaks, as well as on Snapchat at Brenna Black Princess. And while you're at it, add your girl on TikTok at Brianna Cat Leaks, as well as on Twitter at Brie Cat Leaks. But all right, you guys, bye. This is like the definition of my cup runneth over. <laughs>